because see, see uh, Dali is one marvelous painter. Uh, in the same time, is one marvelous being. Painter paint the cosmogony of himself. Of himself. And it's as simple as that. Exactly. Which contemporary? Raphael paint the cosmogony of Raphael. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, Raphael is the Renaissance period. Yes. Dali paint the atomic age and the Freudian age. Nuclear things uh -huh. and, and psychoanalytic things. Which contemporary painters, if any, do you admire? Uh, first Dali, uh, after Dali, Picasso, mm -hmm. and after this, the others. But these Dali and Picasso are the only two that really Le do, le two really only excite you. genius of modern times. The two geniuses of modern times are Dali and Picasso. Uh, in your autobiography, you wrote this. You said, I adore three things. Weakness, old age, and luxury. Why? Because the luxury is one product of monarchy. In myself, every day, becoming more monarchic. No in political way, because never is Bali is interested in politics, in politics yeah. but in philosophical and cosmogonical yeah. way, yes. Right. Because uh, in the modern science, the new discoveries of uh, chromosomes and uh, physics and biology, everything proves the monarchy is the more luxurious things in the life. The most luxurious. All right. Now, old age. And the most perfect. And the, the most, most perfect. perfect. And old age. Why do you adore old age? Because I uh, believe that the young people is completely stupid, you know? Young people are stupid. It's and only necessary, only believe some old people, the same Leonardo da Vinci, or arrive at some mm -hmm. real achievement. And weakness. Why? Why do you adore weakness? Because in uh, in the modern physics, everything is weak. You know, it's everything. Uh, every proton, antiproton, neutron, pinezon. What do you mean? Is surrendered of weakness, of nothing. Le, 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 in this moment, the most fantastic thing in physics is the antimatter. Every new physician talk about, about antimatter. A Dali pain 20 years ago, the first antimatter angels. You write in your biography that death is beautiful. What's beautiful about death? Why is death beautiful? This is one feeling. Everything is erotic, in my opinion. It's Everything ugly. is what? It's erotic. Erotic. It's ugly. Immediately, so arrive the feeling of death. Everything becoming noble and sublime. Oh, in other words, life is erotic and therefore ugly. Death is not erotic, but sublime, therefore beautiful. And beautiful. Ah. You know, you're, for oh. instance, you, Mickey Ballas, now is you uh, a little uh, good face, a little handsome, yeah. but incidentally, you becoming dead, yeah. everybody take out the, the chapeau, you becoming one fantastic man, everybody respect you a thousand times much better, you know? Are you See, make, you make are you, uh, is this by way of a suggestion, sir? Exactly. <laughs> See, you, be, so you make one striptease, uh, you're becoming ugly in one second. Oh, I, I, agree. I agree. Tell me this, uh, what do you think will happen to you when you die? Myself no believe in my death. You will not die? No, no believe in general in the dead, but in the death of Dali, absolutely no. not. She believed in my death becoming very unfried is uh, almost impossible. You, are f you fear death? Yes. Death, death is fear. beautiful, but you fear death. Exactly. Because Dali is contradictory and paradoxical in anything. Well, yes, indeed, Dali is paradoxical and contradictory, but why, wh why this fear of death? Wh what do you fear in death, Dali? Because there is no sufficient uh, convince of uh, my fight in religion. You know, in the moment of myself, believe more. You're not sufficiently convinced of your faith exactly. in religion. Well, now, I spoke with you about a year ago, and we talked about religion, and you said that as the years go by, you embrace Roman Catholicism more and more with your mind, but not yet completely with your heart. Is it true? Why not? Uh, because uh, perhaps is my...